Charlotte, our camera is, is focused on the mould in this house. How long has this been a problem? Um, quite a few years. I've been complaining about it for the last nearly two years, um, but the mould has been here for quite a few years. Um, as you can see it's quite bad and it was just coming through just at the bottom first and I was cleaning it off, painting over in it. Um, but it's just been a losing battle as you can see, um, so I've just had to stop cleaning. So you're saying when you moved into this flat, was there mould in it? Um, no, it had all been um, painted magnolia. Um, there's an air vent thing in the living room. Um, there was no mould, visible mould at all when I moved into the flat, and that was in 2007. Um, I'd, I'd say the mould actually started coming through 2009. Um, but like I was saying, I was cleaning it off because it was only little bits down, down at the bottom and I was cleaning it off and painting over it. But then I just lost the battle with it really. So, so t tell me about your dialogue with the council. My dialogue with the council? Yeah, what, what type of... You've, you've rung them up or you've emailed them or written letters? Um, yeah, I've written to the council, I've written to MPs. Um, I th think it's, it's, it's now with management in the council. Um, some would say that there's maybe hundreds, if not thousands, of people in your same situation. Mm. Did that? Well, it's funny you say that because everybody in this block um, has been moved out, apart from me. I'm the only one still here living with this. So. Um, so why have they been successful and you've been unsuccessful? I don't know. What What is it like to live with mould like this? Um, it's not nice. It's not nice. I've, but I've had um, three weeks off work through depression because of it. Um, it's, it's, it's not nice. I've got no heating in, in both the bedrooms. Um, as you know, mould can make you very ill. Um, at the moment it is me and I couldn't actually have the heating on even if it did work overnight because my body, I'm sweating out overnight. I'm having to have the window open to get fresh air in here so I'm not breathing in the toxins. It's not nice. Have you been to the doctor? Yes. Mm. What's the doc has the doctor diagnosed anything? Any ill health? Um, asthma. Um, but I, apparently I do need to go back and have further tests done. I'm just waiting. I've had um, a survey done and I'm just waiting. Um, mold. Somebody took a samples of the mould and I'm just waiting to see what uh, what the results are now. So. Has anybody, because as you said, there are people who have moved out of these blocks. There are people living in nice new shiny council I've had to, I've had to sit here um, while I, um, the one above me was empty, number 21 was empty, um, there was a, a few more right further around that were emptied out and people were moved out because of mould, the flats all done up, I've had to sit here, watch all the men workmen come in, do all the other flats up, all the new tenants move in and I'm still still here being ignored by our council. So you've not been offered anything at all? Um, I got offered um, a, a temp. Well, the thing is, it's 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 a bit annoying, really, because they know that I permanently want to move out of this area. I don't just want to be moved out and moved back in because I've lost lost confidence um, in the, in this in this flat and in this block. Um, they what they've done, and this was yesterday. I got a call for mailing bunts from Fair Council, and this was at five to five, offering me um, a temporary decant to 178 Coronation Avenue so they can come in and do this up which is a first floor flat I've, I've got a cat as well it's what's my cat going to do jump in and out my bedroom at, at the first floor window it's better than being sick isn't it it is yeah but do you feel they're just going to paper over the cracks again and you're going to be back I've just lost faith yeah I do I've, I've lost faith in Farrak Barber Council and I understand what you're saying it is better than being ill but I've just lost faith in Farrak Barber Council and I don't believe in you